hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day evening weekend morning afternoon whenever you're watching this video i hope you guys all are enjoying your thanksgiving or at least have had a lovely thanksgiving depending upon when i've uploaded this video so i have a haul for you guys i have primarily nail related items but i've got like one little makeup item that i'm going to start the video off with so without further ado if you're interested in seeing the items that i purchased in this particular haul video then definitely stay tuned so the first item i'm going to share with you guys is an item that i know you are already aware of which is the real techniques miracle complexion sponge i picked this up because pretty much all the hype around it i wanted to try it out and see if it will work and I needed a new sponge anyway. If you watched my bubble white video, I told you guys I was going to go back uh, and get the large size of bubble white. This is the five ounce container of that. So I can incorporate this into my nail care routine. And also while I was within Sally's, I picked up two of my staple items. The first item I picked up is my Beauty Secrets Nail Posh Thinner. You guys know I've talked about this before. I've hauled this before. And I probably will continue to haul it because I love it so much. And then, of course, I had to pick up another staple item. And this is the American Classics uh, Jealous. This is the Advanced Nail Gel Coat. I've mentioned this in previous videos before, too. So far, I haven't found a base coat that has... Um, outdone it just yet but that may change in a couple minutes now for the real reason I went into Sally's was to pick up the uh, Orly nail rescue because I have two tears that I mentioned in my previous video and my middle finger on my left and my right hand um, I wanted to find something that could cause my nail to grow out while the tear stayed protected so I didn't, you know, damage my nail or hurt myself even more than what the tear already hurt. Um, so this was recommended to me by Nay Butterfly on Instagram and so far I have to say this stuff is awesome because my nails have been growing and I haven't had any issues. They don't, there's no snagging or anything on my hair like when I wash my hair or anything. The tears are well protected and the other thing I like about the product too and I'm getting into this like more of a review, but I don't think you guys want to review on that. Unless you do, you can comment below. But um, the other thing I like about the Nail Rescue too is like my nails are very sturdy. They don't bend as easily. So therefore it keeps the break from um, getting worse. So Lorraine Dreyas here on YouTube has talked about her ride or die base coat has always been the Dura Rejuva coat. So of course I placed the order on Amazon and picked up the Dura Rejuva coat and the Dura Mirror coat. Um, for those of you who do not want to order this on Amazon, you can check your local Walmarts. I can tell you that I have seen the Rejuva coat only. I have not seen the Mirror coat. But I know the Rejuva coat is carried by select Walmart. So check your local Walmart if you're interested in picking up the Rejuva. So Allie219 here on YouTube as well also posted a video a little while ago about some items that she got from the uh, Dollar Tree. She did mention that Sally Hansen's um, nail appliques were being carried there. So I picked up three of them in my local Dollar Tree. The first one I picked up is called Girl Flower. And this one's more of a... Uh, more of a spring or summer kind of a design, but I really, really like it. I think it's very cute. It reminds me of like 70s and 80s. Then I picked up Disco Queen, which looks holographic. So I'm I'm thinking it's going to be a holographic tip with that kind of brown or burgundy um, half moon shape at the bottom. And the very last one I picked up is called Laced Up. And Laced Up is in a uh, nude, it's like a nude base with the lace design over the top. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Now I placed an order on eBay and on BornPrettyStore.com. Uh, the main reason why I placed the order on eBay is because Born Pretty Store was sold out of uh, three of the items that I purchased on eBay. Well actually no, four of them. They were sold out at the time so... Otherwise, I would have just got them off of Born Pretty Store. But anyway, I went ahead and placed the order with both. And I'm going to first show you the eBay order. seller. Um, I picked up some silver and gold nail studs that look like this. Of course, I'm sure you guys have seen them. These are round, by the way, and they're all round. Um, they're in the size from, I believe, a 1mm to a 3mm. Please don't quote me on that. Then... These three plates were sold out at the time that I was looking on Born Pretty Store. So I went ahead and purchased them from the eBay seller. I've only used one of the image plates. And I'll start with the one that I've used. This is uh, Born Pretty Store plate number 7. 
And the other thing about these plates is the backing of the plates are black. So it doesn't have the Born Pretty Store logo on the back. But um, this plate is an awesome plate. I love. I tested every image and it stamps well. Very well. Uh, the next plate is image plate number five. And I'm going to try to go through these plates kind of quickly. So if I don't hold them up long enough to the camera, I'll tell you exactly why in a moment. Uh, the next plate is image plate number eight. And this one's really, really nice too. Haven't had the chance to test those out. Now, for the order from Born Pretty Store, you know, it comes with the little card in it, you know, letting you know about Born Pretty. So I picked up some funnels because I wanted something to where it helped me put um, like my top coats and base coat into the into the jars without making a big old mess. Then I picked up the infamous QA88 plate. I know you guys are already familiar with this. I don't even think I really need to show you, but I picked this uh, plate up. And then when I tell you guys, I cannot wait to get this video uploaded. Now, Born Pretty Store launched a new image plate collection. And so doing, I believe, their anniversary sale, a few of their plates went on sale. If not all of them went on sale for 99 cents. Primarily the newer plates were 99 cents for the individuals. So I picked out the plates that I wanted instead of getting like the whole collection. So the first plate I'm going to start off with is uh, BP01. And all of them have BP in front of them. This image plate is more of like a Christmas theme. The next image plate is number two, and this is more of like a lace design. Again, I'm going very quickly because I will be doing a video on these. Don't worry. The next one is number 10, and this is more of like a um, under the sea kind of design. I'm thinking a little mermaid, but it has some seashells, starfish, and um, this looks like like reef at the very bottom of the image plate. It reminds me of like coral reef. Or, um, what's that stuff? Those weeds that are in the bottom. I can't think of the name of the, the little weeds in the bottom of the ocean. But anyway, the next one is number 11. This is more of like geometric designs. Really, really cute and really nice. The next one is number 12. Which, this one's some geometric designs um, as well. And then it has a hazard symbol on it. Which, I'm not sure why that's there. But, hey. It's, it is kind of sort of geometric, isn't it? But. That's that one. And the next one is number 13, also geometric designs. And then it has kind of like rain clouds and like the sun coming out of the rain clouds. Pretty neat. The next one is number 17. And I don't really know how to describe this plate, so I'm just going to show it to you. The next one is one that I am on the fence about. There is something on this particular image plate that I did not notice in the picture i didn't know what it was because i couldn't really tell in the picture i just thought that it was just a regular leaf i'm not going to mention it if you see it you can comment below fine with it i don't really care but um i'm gonna just show it to you but this one is like a bunch of um like leaves and then there's some wheat and there's kind of like a water marble kind of design in the middle of the plate but this is number 19 and again, if you see what I'm talking about, feel free to comment below. And the very last plate I have is number 21. And it kind of has these very fine line designs. This uh, this image here, I absolutely love this image. It's so pretty. And then it has a little bit of geometric designs in it too. So, before I move on to the last few items that I have in the haul, I am going to be doing, like I said, a uh, demo and a little mini review on the Born Pretty Store plates. Um, I don't think I need to include the QA88 plate because I know there's a bunch of reviews on that. I'm mainly focusing on the newer image plates that they came out with. If you guys would like for me to throw in uh, these particular image plates or do an individual video on these since I got these from eBay, then comment below. Let me know. You can also thumbs up the video if you want me to just do all the image plates that I picked up. But the first video I am going to upload is going to be specifically for the newer image plates. Last items I have are all nail polishes. And so I'm going to start with the first one, which should be no stranger to anyone. This is Coral Reef by Sally Hansen. I was looking for this one to add to my collection um, as one of the originals, like uh, 
Pacific Blue and Mellow Yellow. I finally found this and you guys will not believe where I found it at. I found it in a Dollar General. So check your Dollar Generals because mine had one bottle left of Coral Reef and two bottles left of Mellow Yellow. So I'm, I doubt they're there now. They're probably going to go very quickly because of the holiday shopping. Then I also picked up Under Your Spell, which is a gorgeous kind of burgundy color nail polish. It has some gold or brown shimmer to it. I'm trying to tilt it so you guys will see, but I doubt you will. I have worn this, and at first I thought it was going to be super sheer, but it's actually pigmented, um, and it's opaque in two coats. So very, very nice. The next polish I have for you guys is called uh, Gossip Over Gimlets, which I know this has been out for a long time or for a while. Uh, this is a silver polish with some gold shimmer and a little bit of silver shimmer in there. Very vibrant silver to have on the nails. Love this polish as well. I haven't worn it yet. It might be. I'm, I might wear this today. I don't know. Right after I do this video, I'm probably going to take my current nail polish off and probably put this one on because it's just cute then i picked up two of the simple shine um polishes by simple colors a lot of my simple shine polishes that i have um i have to wait until walgreens puts out like a holiday display because a lot of the walgreens in my area no longer sell them um then that big display that they used to have they only sell them in like holiday displays so the first one i picked up is called set the mood it's a deep teal polish it might come off a little bit more blue than what it is. And guys, if you see my lighting fluctuating, I am actually using my filming lights. But I have my blinds open. So the sun is coming in and it's going out. And then, you know, So if you see it go from like a cool tone color to a mixture of cool and warm. Which in my opinion makes me look pretty good on camera. Um, that's why. But the last sinful shine polish I have is Nouveau Purple. And it's like a deep eggplant color it almost looks pure blue if you have um mesmerized by simple colors you don't necessarily need nouveau purple but if you're a collector of the simple shines go so this is very close to the end of the haul i have four more polishes all of which are about orally the first one is called saturated and saturated is going to come off like a vibrant probably like a vibrant blue but this is more like a neon purple polish it is absolutely amazing no shimmer no nothing and i think it's a cream formula if i'm not mistaken it does not look like yeah it's more of like a cream formula because it doesn't look see-through the last three orally polishes came from i believe the collection is called the mirror ball collection please don't quote me on that um i think that's the name of it but the first one i have is called explosion of fun and oh my gosh this polish on camera on camera the camera doesn't do it any justice it's got like some blue shimmer some red glitter some uh holographic glitter to it some like pinky glitter it looks almost like it has some purple shimmer to it as well the next two polishes if you guys do not have these in your collection go get them now go get them right now drop everything you're doing go because these polishes are amazing they're beautiful the last one i'm going to show you i don't have anything like this in my collection believe it or not and i have a whole tower full of polishes as you can see like right behind me so if you don't have these polishes run don't walk run and go pick them up the first one is called bling it is this beautiful holographic gold polish it may not come off completely holographic um on camera when i'm moving the bottle around but oh my gosh if you have NYX's Lemon Fizz, it's almost similar to that except for NYX's Lemon Fizz is more on the lemony side. It's more like a lemon yellow versus it being a beautiful gold holographic, but it's very similar. The very last polish in this haul, this polish, if you don't have it, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel bad for you guys if you're collectors and you don't have this. Mirabal. I think this is the one that the collection is named after. Um, and it looks amazing. I think the camera is doing this one a little bit of justice. It's amazing on camera. Oh man, that's beautiful. I'm looking at my viewfinder, by the way, if you're like, why is she saying that? It's a beautiful polish. If you don't get anything from this collection, pick up Bling and pick up Mirabal. Please go get them. I'm telling you. And even if you're not a collector, go get these two polishes because they're amazing. 
absolutely amazing. That's absolutely everything that I have for you guys in this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see a demo for the other four Born Pretty Store plates that I picked up, you can comment below this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stay tuned for the whole thing now that I'm completely done. As always, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.